वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई टी स्मार्ट ट्रेनिंग टूडे सेशन इज ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस इसी टू यूज अ डेटा सो इफ माई वीडियो इज इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट मोर अप टू डेट सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन ए डब्ल्यू एस इसी टू यूज अ डेटा AWS EC2 user data. So when we create an AWS EC2 instance, so there is an options to uh, configure the AWS EC2 user data. So we have to know that what is AWS user to AWS EC2 user data. So AWS EC2 user data, it is a possible to bootstrap. our instances using an ec2 user data script so we run a script when when uh, the uh, instance is booting so bootstrapping means launching commands when the machine starts bootstrapping means the launching commands when the machine starts that script is only run once at a instance first start so it is only run first uh, first time Next, EC2 user data is used to automate boot tasks such as installing updates, installing software, downloading common files from internet, anything you can think of. The EC2 user data script runs with the root user. It is not uh, run with the uh, any other uh, user, which is a limited privilege. Privilege. So, if you want to update your uh, EC2 instance, so you have to uh, update. Uh, uh, user uh, you have to update with um, root privilege so that's why it needs the root user privilege so next so now we are going to start ec2 hands on lab so we want to make sure that This EC2 instance has an Apache HTTP server installed on it to display a simple web page. For it, we are going to write user data script. This script will be executed at the first boot of the instances. We already told this point. So let's start the hands-on. So this is my script. This is the bin bash. You have to put it. Then we log in into the super user. Then yum update y. That that means the all the updates will be task will be uh, happened. Then yum install y. Then HTTP. So this command is used to install the HTTP package. System CTL start HTTP D dot service. This uh, command is used to start the HTTP D service. system ctl start http dot service that means it automatically uh, so, uh, so i just write it two times this is not required for two times okay this is only a single times next system ctl enable http dot service it is enable the service when you boot it will automatically enabled next i write a small web page html web page which is under var ww html and i write a small line welcome to it smart training and from the is show the host name okay so next start our lab today so i am going here just i want to launch instance So now I am launching an Amazon EC2 instance. Just select free tier. Next configuration. Configure details. Here you can see the text file. So just I go here. I just copy.
I just remove this is uh, actually I just mistakenly write two times you can see all the command is uh, uh, given here and next add storage next add tags next we have to security group select existing security group where mm, we already create uh, IT smart SG where the HTTP port is allow review and launch and launch the instances so I just download a uh, create new key pair uh, Amazon hyphen 2 download the key pair launch instances view instances so it will take some time because all the command will run in the background how long your script it depends to run your booting because if you are uh, run a, a script which is a uh, long and that should be process this process should be taken a long time so that will be taking a time to booting up so you can see my system is booted so I just go to the putty gen just load open save yes done I just go to the putty I have to know the public IP address of this instance I have to select the PPK file open yes I have to know the username I just select connect over here so my username is ec2-user I logged in system CTL status HTTPD you can see that it is running so I just write the public IP address over here and enter you can see the web page is populated which you configure so this is how we can create a user data over here uh, uh, also we can uh, write down a script so this is all about the user data informations so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel please 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 subscribe the channel and if you want to follow me you just go to the facebook.com slash it smart training you can also follow me in facebook thank you see you on my next video